would you say dressing is like the salad mm -hmm. sauce? Yes. It's the sauce for the salad. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And I like sauce. <laughs> awesome. So let's talk dressing. And I, I like that we're almost there. We almost have we're you almost liking there. salads. This I'm is great. almost there. This is the final. <laughs> um, okay. So basically, we're uh, dressings are the most important part of the salad. Thank because you. It, think about it. It's touching every ingredient. So it's going to be part of every bite. And mm -hmm. you want to keep coming back for more. Like that's the it, that's the great part of salads and making them balanced because you want to keep coming back. So you want to make sure that every bite has, you know, a, a, a little bit few of ingredients, a, few, a bit of dressing. Yeah. And dressings, you start with, um, basically, it's a base of olive oil. i uh, sorry, oil. Oil. I any oil. Oil. Yeah. oil and vinegar. And then you have, you can add sweet and salt, um, spicy components. And mm. then you can add aromatics mm -hmm. and uh, seasoning. So first, we'll start with the oil and vinegar. It's usually a three to one ratio. Okay. So three parts oil, one part vinegar. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you're adding, like, things like pickled vegetables to your... Uh, dressings, then just be cognizant of that because it'll add a little bit more acidity. You can do less vinegar yes. in the dressing yes. if you've got the the pickled yes. items in the salad. Exactly, because okay, you don't sense. want it too too vinegary. Yeah. Um, and then next, you can add sweet and salty components to your dressing. Okay. So like a honey, like maple yes. syrup. Uh, spicy, you can add like you know a hot sauce. You can add a hot pepper of some yeah. sort that you like. Uh, red pepper flakes are great. Mm -hmm. Also, aromatics really round out a dressing. You really need the aromatics to to bring it all together. So that's something like garlic, shallot, oh, um, a lemon zest, ginger. Okay. Um, and yeah, and we'll we'll I usually use a um, a rasp. Yeah, a, a zester. which is like a grater. A yeah, zester. And, and that that works great for for the dressings. Okay. And um, yeah, and you you combine them all, and also seasoning. People don't realize you have to season a salad dressing just like you season every other dish with salt and pepper. Well, oh, salt and pepper. Yes, okay. you absolutely need all to right. season it, or it'll taste under seasoned. You'll just get a lot of oil, or it's flat. Yeah, it's flat. Okay. Exactly. So, all right. so like my need... dressing. Yeah. Because I haven't been putting salt and pepper in. Yeah, you no. need salt and pepper. Yes, okay. Absolutely. So, um, should we make one? Let's build a dressing. Let's build so a this dressing. So this is a standard dressing. Balsamic is a really, balsamic oil, uh, vinegar, sorry, is uh, a really popular one. And I know you like it. I do. So this is a sweet balsamic. Yeah. So we start with the balsamic vinegar. Okay. And then we have, I used olive oil today, but you could use whatever oil you like, avocado oil, um, canola oil, whatever you like. I love that I don't have to measure. So you measured it out for the one? I measured it out for you, yeah. Thank you. Um, and then this is the honey. Um, and then I'll let you put the other stuff in while I put the honey because it looks a bit tricky. But um, so that is a grainy mustard. Okay. I love mustards in my dressing. So do I. Yeah. They I give it the this. right amount of little, like it gives it a little bit of bite. Yeah, like a zest. A little zest. Um, and then that, this? that is garlic. Okay. And last is shallot that I've used the, the zester. So oh, it's I like really, it. really fine. So that, that's very nice that you did mm -hmm. it that way. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to, you like to just mix stuff together in um, a bowl. Yeah. But are so, there other ways that you might want to mix it? So you have to make an emulsion when you're doing a dressing because you're trying to mix oil and vinegar, which don't like to be together typically. Yes. They separate. Yeah. So uh, the best They're way like to do it. They're like two siblings. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, you use a whisk like you're doing now. Yeah. Another way to do it is make it in a jar. Yeah. And then just shake the jar. So that's oh, nice. easy. Yeah. Yeah. So just shake it up. Um, it'll separate once it's in the fridge, but you just shake it up before you use it, so it's great. How long will this last? Because mine lasts for a really, really long time. Yeah, make Maybe a big batch. Than it should. Yeah, make a big batch, and yeah. it it'll, could last up to two weeks in a like a glass, you know, jar that's been sealed Look at in that. your refrigerator. Yeah, so there you go, super easy. The okay. best way to do it though is in a blender because um, yes. yeah, you don't have to chop anything. It's like yes. the blender will do the work for you. So okay. that's a fun way to do it too. So should I make a salad? Make a salad so from I, beginning I, to end. I have some greens out for. You, the yeah. greens we spoke about in the last segment. Can I just do whatever I want? Yeah, do whatever you want. Got some arugula in there, so it's gonna be a little bit peppery. I'm definitely doing red onions. Yeah, I love, love, love that. See, I can't do red onions. I what? can't do raw red onions. No. Is it just... because you don't want to be like kissing your uh, no. your significant other? It just after repeats having... on me. I don't know why. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, okay. it just repeats on see, me. See, I went too personal there. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. I'm sorry yeah and then uh, <laughs> she so felt the need to answer me I'm sorry so uh, are these proteins I can actually eat right now yes have, okay I yeah, just so want to make sure shrimp. have they been in the trunk of your car no, or no, no. Okay. so the shrimp at, or you can do the crispy tofu no, I, I didn't the cut the rotisserie chicken no. okay yeah oh and now I get to do the chips on top yeah <laughs> 
I love that you put these as toppings. It's so good. So which no dressing plantain. would you, would, do you want to use the sweet balsamic? I also have a mango based dressing here. Oh, I want to use the one I made for once because okay. I think I did okay. And then this is a, a Thai uh, peanut dressing that I made. Are Lisa and Amanda still here? Because I want someone to get me one of those Rubbermaid containers. Because what I usually do is I usually put it in a container at home to shake it up. Like you said, you yeah. want every single bite yes. to have a bit of the dressing. That's truly that's the easiest what makes way. it good. Yeah, that's so truly I put the it in a little way. container. I don't know what this is, but I'm putting some on. Those are crispy onions. Oh yes, girl. Y yeah, yeah. Okay. Crispy onions. You did the very best stuff. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm, I'm, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see you They're in action like, with your salad We spinning. hate her. Okay, <laughs> hold on a second. Let me put it all in here. And then you Beautiful. pour the dressing in. I don't want to pour too much. Oh, I don't it's mind. Danger. Yeah, I know. You don't want to. <laughs> okay. Do you remember growing up, there was a song that went, don't drown your food, and it was a cartoon? <laughs> And it was all about, and it was all about not putting too much sauce on your stuff. And I was like, oh, because uh, I'm the sort of person that, that has fries, and I put ketchup all over it. Like I drown my food. There was a fork out. I must have disappeared. Okay, so lunch is served. And um, I'm so just going to take. So compare this a... one to the one that I gave you in the first segment. Mm -hmm. That boring salad. The sad salad. Much this better. Is a happy salad. Okay, good. good. But very good. Give it up for Julie. <laughs> We're going to talk about something we often pack into a container and take for lunch. We are upping our salad game with Julia Miguel. Thank you. All right, Julie, you are taking us on a deep dive yes. for how to create the perfect salad and build the perfect salad. We want to make sure our salad is drool worthy yes. because when I think salad, I kind of feel sad. <laughs> It's not a happy meal for me. I'm, like there's I'm something right about there a salad, you. I'm right? right there with you. When I was growing up, um, Italians, we usually have a salad at the end of the meal. Okay. It was like a customary thing. I think they thought the acidity helped you digest your meal. Um, so Makes sense. Salads was always something that we like. We ha we were obliged to eat. It was never a meal. Mm -hmm. um, and this, I actually brought an example of a type of salad that my mother would prepare for us. So Looks one familiar. type of lettuce, cucumber, <laughs> um, a big tomato that would slime all the lettuce, and a very <laughs> unbalanced dress. So it's basically like this is actually a, an upgraded vinegar because my dad used to make red wine vinegar yes. and olive oil and that's it. No seasoning, nothing. Okay. Um, I'd like you to try it just so we can compare at the end. Should I try this sad salad? <laughs> try this no, sad honestly, salad. this is very. This looks very familiar to me because I also grew up with a very sad salad. It was so. like we only knew about romaine and we knew about iceberg lettuce. So let's get into to other lettuces. Sad, okay. right? So we're gonna bump it up. Sorry to make you do that. It's okay. But it, it's a good comparison, right? Yeah. Um, so there's a million different types of lettuces you could potentially use in a, in a salad. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a combination because you'll just get a combination of flavors. So not saying that romaine is bad. Romaine is good. Um, yeah. it, it has a great flavor. It's got a great crunch. It's used in Caesar salads. It, it could withstand heat. You could even grill it. It's an awesome leaf. Yeah. Um, it's great when it's mixed with other things. My favorite group of salads is the chicories. So that's okay. like um, the frise, the mm. uh, Belgium endive, and the um, escarole. So and you like a little bitter. A little bitterness and they just have like a great texture to them. Yeah. This butter lettuce is great because it's um, it's got like a really creamy almost texture when you're eating it. So it's yeah. good paired with something crunchy. And then we've got like the mixed greens, um, which are um, a little harder to keep, but um, they're great because they're really convenient. And yes. they've got a nice mixture in them of different greens. Yes. Um, and then we also have like the kale, the spinach, which are a heartier leaf and great when they're mixed in with other things. Mm -hmm. uh, kale has to be massaged with like a creamy dressing in order for it to be palatable, so you should She's make sure you do that. She's a little too fussy for me, yeah. that kale. Kale, Calm same, down, same. kale. Right? right? It's, it's a little aggressive. It's a little aggressive. Mm -hmm. A little aggressive. So okay. I, I, I suggest with kale, cut it really small mm -hmm. so that you, it's easier to chew. Yeah. Um, it, it won't be so tough. So yeah, maybe yeah, try yeah. that. Try the, the massaging the dressing in. It might be a little bit more palatable for you. Also, okay. aromatics. Uh, we'll get into more aromatics when we talk about dressings, but adding herbs to the greens, actually it's a nice surprise, like when you get like a leaf of basil mm. or, you know, mint or dill is really good, cilantro. So think about adding that mixed in with your greens. It'll add a pop of flavor yes. and like a nice little surprise in your salad. So already you're bumping it up by mixing your lettuces. Yes. You're putting some arugula with your romaine. Yes. Putting some arugula. dill in there. So peppery, so yes. flavorful. Like, you you technically don't even need a dressing, although we're going to do dressing, we're going to do toppings. Yes. But like, it's the mixture of flavors here is great, a great base. 
base. Beautiful. So and we've then, got the base. How are we going to go to the next level? So veggies. So mm -hmm. veggies add a great crunch and also a lot of flavor. So if we're, we're not using, I don't like using big like beefsteak tomatoes because yeah. they slime the lettuce. So I, I tend to use the um, cherry, cherry tomatoes. They've got a little crunch to them, cut them in half. Yep. Make sure everything is cut into bite-sized pieces. Yep. But we've also got our red onion, celery. Um, this is red pepper. Love these. Carrots, cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Great if it's cut like really small, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then roasted veggies is really good. It adds like a heartiness to the salad. So I've got some roasted sweet potato and mushrooms there. That's Love good. mushrooms on salad. Love sweet potato on salads. Uh, fennel, really mm -hmm. good flavor. Also consider pickled veggies because they add like you know, like they have a little bit of vinegar in them, right? So yes. that has some, that's muffaletta. It's got some olives in it as well. Major flavor here. Oh, so much flavor. I love muffaletta on salads. Definitely try that. Okay. Next, we're going to add even more. We're going to add some grains. So okay. I love farro and yes. I love um, ri uh, brown rice because they actually absorb the dressing and j just make it a really hearty salad. It really, truly becomes a meal at this point. They bulk it up. Yeah, you've got, you've got the grains. And then also... Proteins, very important. Yeah. So um, you don't have to add proteins. You can add plant-based or you know regular proteins. So regular proteins are like seafood. I've got shrimp here. I love that. Rotisserie chicken's a good hack to have in your fridge because you could just shred it up yep. and put it onto the salad. This is a bit of uh, grilled turkey here. Mm -hmm. Turkey's also a really good flavor. And then plant-based proteins are things like lentils, edamame. Okay. Great. I love edamame. Great crunch. Mm -hmm. And then you've got tofu, some crispy tofu. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so look, we started with the base. Yes. We bumped up the veg veggies and did stuff like roasting them. We threw in some grains. We did some either meat protein or veggie protein. Now we're talking, this is not sad anymore. No. We almost have a meal. Exactly. And we have another step. Another step, the toppings. This toppings. will just make it fun. It'll like even excite the eyes because you'll see different yes. textures. It adds crunch to the salad, even more flavor. So croutons. Those chips. Those are tortilla chips that you can actually buy like that for salads. Um, this is plantain. These are uh, pita chips. And then I've got crispy onions. They sell like this already too in a package okay. they, they sell mixed um, dried fruit and nuts as well salad toppers yeah nuts if you roast them right before you put them on your salad just add great flavor great crunch mm -hmm. dried fruit I love it just adds like a nice like chewy bite yeah what's a nice with the salad it's a good to have all those textures so also think texture um, yes yeah bite crunch yes. I love the idea of croutons, croutons like don't great. take the stuff out because this is what's making it exciting oh and, my god and absolutely and you're getting a happy. bite of everything in the salad as well which is making you want more and more of it right um, and next last, level next um, I've, I've, I've even added fresh fruit because people often forget fresh fruit absolutely goes in a salad I actually have a recipe that I'm gonna put up on the website um, that has apple in it nice. and just so good because it just offsets the you know the acidity yeah. um, and sweetness and the, and the bitterness like it's just a good balance you know mm -hmm. um, and then the last topping is cheese so uh, yes. some people are cheese me, fans. Honey. Yes, see, this is my thing. Yes. Cheese is absolutely essential on a salad. So it adds a creaminess and saltiness. So this is a Parmesan that I shave using a vegetable peeler. Nice. Um, and then also a herbed goat cheese. Yeah. It actually makes the uh, vinaigrette more creamy mm. when, you, when you're tossing it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then that's a gorgonzola, which is so good with like sweets, um, with a sweet dressing or with like with honey, you know, or with like nuts. Yes. It's just such a great combination. So these, with, with the, these items, yeah. and these are only a few, there's like a million more. And this is all stuff you can, you already probably have in your house, in your pantries, totally. in your refrigerator, you're going to have different greens. So this is all stuff you probably already have. Mm -hmm. And now just think about putting it into a salad as a meal. I love that. Great mm -hmm. tip.